Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Kenville Belair and I'm a software engineer at Facebook. Today I will talk about Torchodio in the context of the Summer Hackathon. The goal of Torchodio is to provide building blocks to other researchers and engineers that allows them to bring research to production. Torchodio is built around the following core functionalities. The first functionality is I.O. to read and save tensors from various file formats like MP3, WAV, and FLAC. We can also download and use common audio datasets where samples are loaded in parallel using Torch multiprocessing workers. The second functionality is transforms for audio and signal processing such as spectrogram, MFCC, and resampling. The transforms are provided as neural network modules in torchojo.transforms. Since the transforms are written using pure PyTorch operations, the computations can be done on the GPU and it can be compiled using TorchGrid. And finally, the third is Kaldi Compatibility. Kaldi is an audio processing library within C++. We provide reading and writing of Kaldi's binary files, as well as equivalent features like Spectrogram and FBank. Here's a code snippet that uses a large data set called LibreSpeech. This data set is usually too large to fit in memory, so the data set loads each data point on demand. The data set can be used with the standard PyTorch data loader and a collate function that selects the entries of interest from each data point. The data loader is then used to iterate through the data set by batch. In this particular example, I have also added a background iterator available in Torchodio that allows us to prefetch the next data point while running our computation. The next functionality I mentioned is transforms. As I said before, they are written in pure PyTorch and as such support batching TorchScript and GPU. Here's a small snippet using Torchodio load and transforms. The waveform variable is a tensor which is read from file, and the corresponding sample rate of the file is read as a scalar. The Torchodio transform spectrogram is given an input parameter to configure its behavior. It is then passed the input tensor, which computes a spectrogram tensor as output. Here's another example. Since each transform is a neural network module, it can be combined in a standard sequential wrapper for convenient data augmentation. Here, we take a spectrogram, apply a random time stretch, compute the complex norm, apply a random frequency masking and a random time masking, and then convert the amplitude to decibels. To migrate from Kaldi to Torchodio, we also provide a Kaldi compatibility interface. In the code snippet, Torchodio provides a wrapper for Torchodio transforms that mimics the flags provided to call the binaries. The transform consumes PyTorch tensors and outputs PyTorch tensors. You can also read call the arc SCP files through Torchodio so that the processed output of call the can be used within your Torchodio program. I also quickly want to mention an example that is available in the Torchodio repository that leverage call the filter banks and FairSeq to provide transcriptions. As upcoming functionalities, you can expect Windows support, Torchscriptable I.O., an example training pipeline for speech recognition with a decoder interface. To use and learn ab about Torchodio, you can visit the link above. It contains documentation about the API, installation instructions, tutorials, and links to the GitHub page where you can read the source code or contribute. Thank you and enjoy the hackathon.